I wanted to show one more video. Yeah. Um, and Blakely, you, I'm especially interested in your response to this because this is um, one of the uh, pink washing videos, one of the many pink washing videos. So, Brad, can we play? I don't remember if I sent you two, but we have a pink washing video from this guy. Um, Not Daniel Ryan Spaulding. Yeah, Daniel Ryan Spaulding. Oh. Who is he? He's, he's, he just, he's just a TikToker. He's a, a TikToker. TikTok guy who was like, you know, was doing kitschy power gay stuff where he's like, I'm right. a power gay. And then he would say something milk toast. But now he's like, oh, okay. I'm a power gay and I'll suck the IDF's dick. Yeah. Liter like, oh. Literally, he, literally he, yeah. he, he is one of the groups of people that have been picked up on TikTok by the Israeli lobbies and basically paid to do propaganda for Israel. Yes. For power gay at the United Nations, oh. you dress conservatively Sorry. in a turtleneck and tweed because you have to be taken right seriously. It's up to you to save the Jews. Wait, let's rewind it. Let's start from the beginning because I... It's up Didn't to... that opening though remind you of Greg Gutfeld with his yeah. bad rhyming on his shitty oh show? Oh my God, that's, yeah. <laughs> And it's also, uh, is he playing white savior for Jews right now? Because again, I, I want to so. point out this guy is 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 not Jewish and right. is going to spend half of this video fetishizing Jews. Yeah. And here's the thing, I listen. I don't well, mind I anyone. He was Jewish. No, <laughs> his whole thing so. is that he wants to. He's just like, what if I sucked a he's Jewish like dick Jewish right pop. in front of you, purple okay. hair girl? And you're yeah. like, why are you mad at me? This is an Arby's. Like also, also, why do they always have purple hair? Yes. I'll say your talking points. I'm begging you. Yes. Yeah, seriously. That's the purple old. hair is just the, this is just anti-trans like code. That's all it that is, is, but it's yeah. also very 2016. Yeah, no, I know. they <laughs> these guys are like Daily Wire 2014. Yeah. Yes. I don't think he's Jewish. He's not Jewish. Yeah. He's he's not Jewish. He's just someone who's his angle is I like Jewish cock. Right. Which is like again, yeah. I am pro yeah. that. Yeah. That is pretty much the only way anyone's ever been attracted to me. So I'm pro that. Yeah. If you see <laughs> someone who's Jewish and you just have a thing for for it, go forth and be happy. But like the idea of like wrapping that up into like some sort of like genocidal Zionism know, is like, so what disgusting. are you doing? Yeah, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> All about equality, especially for hot oh, Israeli no! guys. No! <laughs> Wait, let's play from the beginning because it got cut off. When up. you're okay. a power gay at the Stonewall National Monument, you're all about equality, especially for hot Israeli guys. <laughs> oh, hi, Ilan Levy. Hello, Daniel Ryan Spaulding. You know, I've been to Israel so many times. I have so many hot gay Israeli friends that I've partied with in Tel Aviv. And I want to say that I love them and I want to stand up for them against anti-Semitism. And we need everyone to stand up to anti-Semitism because hate is hate. It's a poison. It erodes society. It never ends well for societies that let it take a hold of them. And you know, Daniel Ryan, I think a lot of Jews in America right now are feeling that they're basically being forced into the closet as Jews into <laughs> hiding because they are being made to feel afraid and ashamed of who they are as Jews, as people who love Israel. And that is never acceptable. It's not acceptable. And okay, can you pause it real quick? This is this is um, sorry. This is a per personal picadillo I have. I just want to let everyone know uh, Daniel Ryan Spaulding is five foot eight. Which once again means Elon Levy is about, I would say, five foot two. And I just want people to know that. I just think it's very important as someone yeah. who's a, a six foot six Jew, I want people to know that this is a very little man talking. Please yeah. continue. Sure. Not that there's have been with that. inextricably linked for decades. Elizabeth Taylor, a Jewish lady, was the only person to stand up and speak out for HIV and AIDS awareness in the 80s. Harvey that. Milk was Jewish. We have an obligation as gay people to stand up against all forms of prejudice, and that includes anti-Semitism. Except for Aaron Thank you, Daniel Spaulding. You've done more than most Jewish celebrities to speak out for the Jewish community here in America. Well, what can I say? I'm not some weak-kneed Jew. I'm a power gay, and my knees are built just fine. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> And that guy, Elon, is a serial liar. He lied he's about he's, shootings. He's, he's the Goebbels of, uh, he you know, yeah. the, the Goebbels of 
Israel. Yeah. Like he is their chief propagandist or really the is. face of the propaganda. And he's called it anti-Semitic every time someone points that yeah, out. They're like, how literally. dare you compare me? But, but as I've explained on Twitter, it's not because you're Jewish. It's because you're a Nazi. It's because you no, are a Nazi worry. propagandist. Don't you worry. Are, no one cares that you're you Jewish. You are a genocidal propagandist. You're doing propaganda for a genocide. Uh, Goebbels is just the most famous one. Right. Yeah, you should be flattered. It actually requires a suspension of anti-Semitism uh, to yeah. be able to compare a Jew to a Nazi. Yeah. If you were anti-Semitic, you wouldn't be able to see that comparison. Yes. Yeah, and you know, it's that that guy, if, it, especially while he's sitting there talking about, you know, like, oh, we're so free and we love this and that. I find it so vile that they're yes. just continually comparing the struggle of just whether yeah. it's gay rights, racism, fighting back against hate with anti-Semitism and Israel yeah. and Zionism. It's like you saying people should stand up against anti-Semitism and hate in all of its forms, but conflating your disgusting genocidal Zionism with anti-Semitism is just so disgusting. And then trying to make it all cute by like talking about, I don't know, blowjobs with this oh yeah psychotic well, yeah. propagandist. It's, it's just like it's the most white gay man thing too because like if you watch any of his other videos filled with misogyny filled yeah. with this kind of like again it's almost it's a very similar th type of victim complex where you've got this inverted narrative in which like because gay men uh, in America are an oppressed class. I mean, gay people in general are, but we're talking gay white men. Right. <laughs> it's a very specific type of, uh, you know, in the freaking hierarchy of, uh, you know, the gays. Yeah. And just like this idea that he's like going to appropriate the entire struggle when there are tons of white gay fascist misogynists right. yeah. and like this is this is not uh he's not breaking any new ground here yeah. so it's uh yeah it's very similar and trying well, to we have to harvey milk <laughs> i know harvey milk and, yeah. and elizabeth taylor that's the best that you can do someone who converted after like a plane crash or something also i'm sorry but the, but jews <laughs> jews are in the closet this yeah, idea of yeah. like all Jews are in a way kind of gay. Which like, again, what are you doing? <laughs> which again infuriates me because of the amount they're talking about. They're conflating anti-Semitism with yes. Zionism. But then also they keep saying we stand up against hate in all of its forms as they continually dehumanize Arab people. Yes. Yeah. Every single day. The most vile shit that they say about them. Mm -hmm. They conflate them constantly with Hamas. Mm -hmm. They say... um, you know that it doesn't matter there are no innocent civilians yes. yeah or they, like they have no choice they lie about the human shields and yeah. then as if they have no choice like well a non-sociopath would say well because of that we can't bomb these people because they're right let's treat them like there. we would if there right, were people inside you, our territory but right. even when you do that then they take the mask off and they'll go oh well all of the palestinians support hamas right, right yeah so then so it's like grow up to be yeah. Terrorists. Yeah. yeah it's right, a free, which even free if, which even if they did it's just so stupid even if they did like i'm sorry grow the fuck up people have to deal with governments that they don't like all the time yeah right. second of all you're stupid if you think <laughs> that this is not going to create an entire new generation of hamas yeah which which they, they are know. not stupid. Yeah, and yeah they, they know. know. Yes. Yeah. 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 That guy's unreal. Wait, I wanted to see the end of the other one where he's oh, talking okay, about yeah. dick All right, let's talk about that show, the UN one. Our gay at the United <laughs> Nations, you dress conservatively in a turtleneck and tweed because you have to be taken seriously. It's up to you to save the Jews. But apparently I'm not an advocate against anti-Semitism because I'm a good person and care about my Jewish friends. No, 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 according to the purple haired girls, I'm just pink washing. Pink washing. Oh. Another way to say your gay opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> Listen up, hot gay guys. It's up to us to stand up to these purple haired girls or else next year, you're not going to Tel Aviv Pride. And that's fine by me. I'll enjoy all that Israeli cock by myself. Muscle dick, hardcore Jewish dick, IDF dick. I'm gonna get so much Jewish jizz, it'll be like I'm floating in the Dead Sea. I'm gonna spend <laughs> my pride for? with the hottest gay guys in the world, <laughs> sucking dick this and eating hummus. Just a stream and of you're gonna be stuck with a bunch of 20 year olds in slumpy like... sweaters, doing spoken word poetry about colonialism. Enjoy. 
Hashtag pink washing. There's just so much rage. The thing is, is like the videos he makes, I've never seen a more clearly mad guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he just got into an argument with someone and he's like, <sighs> yeah. And then he makes a video and it's like, you're still, I can see your blood pressure, bro. Right. <laughs> kind of like a, uh, Michael Rappaport. Just yeah. Dead. Yeah. Dead. But he has the, the decency to be mad uh, in openly. public. Right. <laughs> openly. Right. Openly. Yeah. yeah. And with lots of fucking. But yeah. like yeah. the thing about this guy too, like I said, that drives me crazy is that he's literally going in detail about wanting people to jizz on his face. <laughs> Which... And if that were anyone else, their, their shit would be taken down. They would be banned. Yeah. Yeah. But these people yeah. just like go on and on and on. This guy like. Obs I, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yes meanwhile i am uh like shadow banned on tiktok <laughs> like yeah. i can't i can't make a video anymore for tiktok because uh they all like they they just all are like a, a thousand views or something like that and when i started making these videos they, they were taking off and i was like cool <laughs> and now uh-uh borat wow. talked to the main guy and he said no no yeah. uh, anti-zionism yeah. but like yeah you know Listen, it's just like this lane of pink washing is so inaccessible th that you just kind of go like, th like I, I literally don't know who this is for. Like I don't know who is um, <laughs> Koofy, being convinced by this. Audience, it's Kristen's, for uh, a segment well. of people in Tel Aviv mm -hmm. who are like, yes, thank you, and that's it. And it's like, listen, you know, you, ha you have your audience and stuff, but. This is uh, this just seems like something you talk to your therapist about. You know? Yeah, right. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You want to there, drown in jizz? Be... Like I, I, I get know. it. Seriously, yeah, yeah. We've all been there. We've, We've all, all been there. there. Listen, I don't make that into Hasbara. Yeah, you no. know. I don't be sex negative or anything. No, listen. Go for it. Live your go for truth. The, the Dead Sea of jizz, but yeah. Uh, but if you're of, yeah. if you if part of your truth is just like uh being openly genocidal towards a group of yeah people. that's the problem that i'm not positive about yeah it's no. just like uh, you yeah know. first of all yeah that is it that's what people need to understand who among us doesn't like jewish dick we yeah. all do we've all yeah. been there yeah but yeah, hell yeah but when you're using that as a, as a pretext for your genocide right? yeah Rob, that's not the way you're supposed to be using jewish dick that's no which, again yeah. goes back to the which goes back to the pink washing i am so tired of these lunatics doing things like, look at that IOF soldier. Look at what a queen oh God, she so is as they fly up innocent Palestinian med. Yeah. yeah. Yes, queen. Yes. It's so, so, where, it's, where the lingerie, women, Palestinian women's lingerie. Yes. So it, yeah. yeah, and then you call it out and they're like, wow, kink shame much? And yeah. it's like, what are you for? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. And I don't know if this is for people in tel aviv to kind of feel better about the genocide or if it's for white liberals in america i think it's it's aimed towards white liberals but i can't i mean you know white liberals I, by and large yeah they, i'm sure they will fault for it because at the end of the day they're liberals and that's what they do they fall for words but like you know i just can't imagine how effective it is when it's at this point so dystopian like there's a level of dystopian <laughs> where you're just like no amount of like cutesy gay friendly genocide <laughs> is going you know is going to stop me from like crying when i see a dead baby you know what i mean right. like like th at, th at some point you do have to just hide and and i have been seeing more and more people um delete their um their post october 7th uh tweets and or ig posts and uh i'm going to make a, a little episode about that um, oh nice uh, bad has bar i hope you have screenshots we have screenshots yeah, yeah, yeah me nice. and uh, uh, uh a former guest um uh, of my other podcast is going to come on we're going to talk about that because it's like the shit that people were writing was insane and the shit that people are deleting makes me it's like it's like the end of Inglorious Bastards, where yeah. I'm like, no, you're living with this. Right. You're fucking living shout, with this. Shout out to and not Schwartz. Yeah. yeah seriously. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And unfortunately, can I? It's too bad that Quentin Tarantino shit on this issue. Um, I'm sure he is, yeah, but he's uh, I think he's married to an Israeli. Yeah. Um, oh God. So not, I think, don't quote me on that, but yeah. I believe. 
I um, just hope that Tom York, you know, I don't know. There, I feel like Radiohead's bad on this issue too, and I, I, oh. I'm just like it's okay. It's everybody that you thought that you liked. Okay, oh, I saw I that Timothy it. Chalamet apparently is no. a Zionist, which. Which but we gotta sad. verify because there's a lot of things going around that. Uh, yeah, sometimes people just say, say stuff, and I want to. Yeah. I don't like, like. I saw a video of all these celebrities, and some of them are incorrect. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I know what you're referring to. Yeah. It was like a slide, like a TikTok yeah, exactly. slide. Yeah. 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 Um, well, Brad wants to say something. It's time for Brad to show a very short video that he created for just for occasions like these. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's so great brad i need <laughs> you're a terrible person <laughs> that's brad, really great I, uh, do you work uh, uh, freelance or on commission because i'm gonna need you to make some Ab shit <laughs> absolutely but i just wanted to add i i got this on my birthday it was a very wonderful birthday present he got the message yeah, oh, so Elon this, Elon tweeted out a screenshot of that, or some some someone actually posted this video yeah. without crediting you, Brad, yeah. or the yeah, Katie yeah. Albert show. So I had yeah. to I had yeah. to correct him, but it got out there. And then Elon Elon Levy wrote, "I love the fact that someone went to the effort of making this, giving it to my siblings as a new favorite gift for the family WhatsApp group." To which I am of the opinion. This got under his skin. Oh, there's, he's yeah. there, so there, mad about there's, it. There's, there's no way he would have written it that if he if it didn't bother him. In yeah. my family group chat, do you like I share know. in between showing massacred photos? Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I miss the gift. The group chat is mostly just women's right. fucking exactly. women's underwear from Gaza. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, and um, I love that. I think it's hilarious. I actually <laughs> saw it. I didn't realize that you were made it or that oh, had really? anything to do with the show. No, because I you weren't credited. I just I saw know. it. Somebody had posted it and it's it cracked me up. 